Einstein is reputed to have said once that anyone who enjoyed marching got their brain for nothing. Just the spinal column would have done. I feel much the same way about DIY. People say to me, oh, look at all the tools you have. Yes, I have lots of tools for DIY so I can spend as little time as possible doing it. If I was a DIY nut, I would have hand tools. I would spend all day patiently chiseling out a little tiny piece of wood. If I had a DIY tool that you press the button and vroom, the job was done in 14 milliseconds, I would buy three of them. But no such tool exists. Today's job is a messy one because I'm varnishing the bulkhead. I've had enough of the 20 year old varnish, which is just worn out. So this is a thick ply, marine ply um, panel with a mahogany style veneer over the top. Um, or a teak style veneer, I don't know which, but some sort of hardwood. So I'm lightly sanding it to take the varnish off. I do not want to damage the veneer. Um, so I'm doing it with 300 grit and very lightly. I'm going to give it a clean and then another rub over with 400 grit and see how it starts to feel. And then I will put a coat of quick drying varnish on just to get it moving. Quick drying varnish, do you notice that? Varnish that dries quickly so I can get a second coat on later today because I don't want to spend weeks at this. I want to spend days at this. I'd like to have it all done by Monday. I've already done most of that side. I've done the compression post. I've got round the door to do, which is going to be fiddly. And I've got this nice big bulkhead to do. So I've taken the bookcase out. For those of you used to seeing Salty Lass with her bookcase in, <laughs> she's going to look a bit different, doesn't she? With no bookcase here. That's currently out. I'm not going to bother varnishing the bookcase, or if I do, I'll varnish it separately somewhere else and then reinstall it. What is the point of this little diatribe? The point is, I hate doing DIY. I think we've established that one. And therefore, by a process of personal projection, everybody else must hate doing DIY too. Because I hate it and you're watching, so you must hate it. That's the way it's going to work here. Which is why we don't do DIY projects on our channel very often. I mean, yes, you do see us fixing things, but we don't do like, and here's how we tighten that screw, and here's how we fill that knob up, and all the other things. So Beverly, have you got your screwdriver operating um, license? Well, I'm having to use the screwdriver now, but no, I, I haven't got a screwdriver or operator's license. I failed the exam. There are channels out there who set themselves up. They do DIY. Good on them. Saves me the trouble of doing it. I don't mind showing you what I'm fixing, but I just can't be bothered doing the whole process of fixing it because it takes long enough as it is, and I don't want to make it any longer. So. That's why we don't generally do prolonged DIY on the channel. We'll show you how to fix things, but only the basics. Sadly, looking at the other bulkhead behind you, it needs doing too, but that's for another week. It's a lot simpler to do. There's a lot less stuff to take out. Don't have to take out bunks. Don't have to take out all this stuff. I'm much better at having rants than doing DIY. So one of the things I am good at is prolonging the not doing DIY. Procrastination is an art, and I am glad to say that I am a master of that art. But sadly, it won't get done. Gainer is away for four or five hours, so that will allow me to wipe all this off, get another sand lightly on it, and then get the first coat of varnish on, and let it dry. Oh yes. And then once it's dried thoroughly, I will give it a very light sand with about four or eight hundred grit, and then I will put a second coat on. And hopefully by Monday, I will have three or four coats on here, and the job will be done. On a secondary note, it does raise the issue of what music accompanies procrastination or possibly hoovering up. Should it be a comedy thing? Should it be something mournful? Should it be dramatic? I don't know. Maybe it's something we should have a competition about. Answers on a postcard and we'll see how we work out. I haven't decided what you're sending the postcard yet. That's another bit I'm going to have to procrastinate over. make 
the posit a positive out of staying here in port this year. You know, when we're travelling, we're just not going to do varnishing. It's just not going to happen. Why so, not? Well, it's just very difficult to do projects when you're travelling. You're either travelling or you're doing projects. So even though varnishing is, let's be honest, one of the lowest projects in the list, you know, we've got to stay in, so we're just getting it done. And I have to say, the wood is just looking absolutely fantastic because of it. But at the end of the day, it's just a process. You know, sanding, varnishing, sanding with a little less grit, and then varnishing again. And there are thousands of videos on YouTube about varnishing. So we take our brush, and then we go up, and then we go down. And after we've done that, we go up. And quite frankly, we're not going to bore you with it here. So then. Yep. I'm so glad it's at last time to put Salty Lass back to rights. Just going to point out that the varnish is drying out quite nicely. And we actually have your reflection in the wall. We've got that much. Yeah. Give us a wave. Other hand, you're dafty. Ah, that's it. <laughs> so what are we doing? We're putting Salty Lass back to rights. About time, isn't it? it? Certainly is. How are we getting the boats to rights again? We're not. Aren't we? No, I'm taking it apart. Oh, wrong direction. It's time for the floor to come up. And in case you're wondering why it's time for the floor to come up, this was the one panel we couldn't move previously because the bookcase sits on top of it. Now we've got the bookcase sitting behind Gator. It's time for this one to come up and we're giving this a clean underneath. Then we're putting it all back together again. Then we'll put the boat to rights. Well, for a space that has never been cleaned, um, it wasn't too bad, but apparently I am the source of maggots because there was about eight carcasses on the board that we've just taken off. And I'm also the source of needles, pins, and anything to do with sewing, because trust me, there are pins galore down here. Frankly, knowing you as I do, yeah. I'm amazed that much food made it onto the floor for the maggots to get started with. Well, clearly they did, <laughs> but yeah. You have to learn to eat better. Yeah, lots of maggots, and uh, so I'm glad that we're removing this, but... Whew, Never mind, job doing, and that's what we're going to happy. It was doing well to that last sentence, but Yeah, mind. okay, well, fair enough, it was okay. That's going to make me happy, just cleaning. I know it sounds daft, but there you go. It may seem that the dimensions of the bootcase are a bit semi-random. It's certainly constrained by the depth of the compression post, so it comes out as far as that. But why pick this width? I mean, why that particular width? And the answer is because that particular width with a very, very snugly fitted bit just takes my drill. And that's the reason it's the width it is. I put this in with a hand screwdriver and then I finish it off just with this because I can just get that into that. It just needs a few more turns and then I can get this into it. putting the boat back together we're going to have a little bit of a ream out so if anybody wants some uh, daft glasses shamrock glasses shamrock glasses just um, give us um, a shout in the messages below you should keep them they bring out your inner Irish <laughs> is that what it is <laughs> but yeah we're having a bit of a ream now because um, I'm sure we've got some stuff that can quite frankly go and we have a great saying for it, get the grot off the yacht. <laughs> 